Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our first break of the Wednesday, February 6, 2019. It's going to be Jaspi 7-Box Memorabilia Football Mixer number one, random team break number one. One spot gets you two teams, and all teams are in. So let's double everybody up here, Sir Mix-a-Lot style. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. And all the teams are in. Let's randomize each list. Four and a three, lucky seven times on the sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got Michael Kuntz, Mike, all the way down to Sean Cole. Four and a three, seven times for the teams. Good luck, teams. One, two, three, four, five, Six and seventh and final time. After seven times, Bears down to the Bucks. All right, so Mike, you have the Bears. William with the Niners. Mark, you have the Dolphins. John Parsons with the Vikings. Jesse with the Chiefs. Chris Miller with the Pats. Jesse with the Giants. Jeff with the Jags. William with the Broncos. Jeff with the Panthers, Mike with the Saints, Jesse with the Rams, Chris Parent, you have the Redskins, Sean, Titans and Cardinals for you, Jeff with the Colts, Rusty, one of your last bought mojos, Bengals, your other last bought mojo, Chargers, Jeff with the Browns, Chris Miller with the Bills, Chris Parent with the Eagles, Sean with the Jets, Anthony with the Raiders, got my Raiders, Sean with the Texans and Cowboys, John Parsons with the Ravens, Anthony with the Packers, Steelers for Jesse, D'Lo with the uh, Lions and Falcons, Mark with the Seahawks and Sean with the Buccaneers. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And let me know if there's any trades, boys and girls. What's up, TJ? What's going on? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. Remember, consider the, it's all basically 2018, 17, 17 and 18, so keep that in mind. All right, does not look like there's going to be any trades. So let's close up that trade window. TWC, as always. Let's print. Let's rip. Let's see what monsters we pull for our first break of the day. Good luck, everybody. start with this. All right, here's the official printout on a Wednesday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Wednesday with us, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it. All right, let's see what we got. Good luck, everyone. 2017 box first. Then we'll, I don't know what we'll do, what box we'll do after this. Maybe that Contenders Optic. Maybe some Limited. Ultimate Draft. Leaf Mini Helmet. TriStar Mini Helmet. And then the TriStar Jersey. 
Something like that. Let's play it by ear. With TriStar, of course, we can play America's Favorite Game, Who Am I? So get your thinking caps on. There's TJ Watt, 299. And we've got New Generation Relic, Alvin Kamara. Nice, 281 out of 399. Got uh, Rodney Adams, 9.99, and wow, nice big relic, Todd Gurley, 25 out of 49. Fabric of the game. LA Sports Talk Radio for the last few days has been talking about, hey, what happened with Todd Gurley? Was was is he at, maybe that knee? Has he actually been injured? Maybe is it a game flow situation? Maybe. I don't know. What's the what's the real story? If he was injured, I would I would assume they would just say, yeah, he was injured. Or did the Pats defense just take him out of the game? That's possible too. But you would think they would actually try to go to him a little more often instead of just saying, ah, Pats, Pats, Pats defense, they got us. Five out of ten, Wayne Gallman. Sub Chris. Wayne Gallman autograph. Rookie roll call auto. I don't know what happened. That's the big. That's the big uh, mystery. The mystery of of Todd Gurley. Where did he go? There's Matt Forte, and we got Jeremy McNichols, three seventy six out of four ninety nine. Great colors in there. Nice autograph for the Buccaneers. Sean Cole for the Buccaneers. Cam Robinson, Harrison Smith. All right, and that was certified. Leave all these numbered cards up. Our shipping team will top load these before they go out. All right, let's stay in 2017. We got Contenders Optic Football in 2017. I think this the 2018 version is coming out later this month. So keep your eyes peeled for pre-orders there. Josie, what's going on? These should be... There we go. We got Thank You Hilton, T.Y. Hilton, 14 out of 199 for the Colts. Jeffrey with that one. Then we've got Legendary Contenders, Calvin Johnson, 20 out of 25. That's for the Lions. That'll be for David Lopez. Got Jordan Howard base card. And I think this is the sticker auto. That's Jamal Adams, rookie ticket auto. That's for the Jets, Jets, Jets. Sean Cole with the Jets. The next auto should be the on card. Behind Carlos Hyde is Jeremy McNichols, but Niners edition. There you go. So two Jeremy McNichols, two different teams. This one goes to William Punt and the San Francisco 49ers. It was traded at some point. All right, let's go into 2018. How about some 2018 limited football? Folks, we've got a full case of limited football in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. One break is almost in single digits. So check it out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We can do it tonight. We should do it tonight. It's a fun break. Ooh, a book? 
Nice. Josie's asking, are all jersey patches game worn? No, they are not. Uh, mo all, almost all of the manufacturers will here. Well, I'm sure we'll see one in a second. I'll show you. So behind Alshon Jeffrey is Kike Kuti. 202 out of 299. Three color patch and on card autograph. That's for the Texans. That's a nice one for Sean Cole. All right, Josie, take a look at this. On the back of almost everybody does this now. The enclosed player worn material and autograph are guaranteed by Panini. You can see right there. So in higher end sets, even higher end, more higher end than limited football, you'll see more game worn stuff. But a lot of times they could be just player worn. It is a difference in price when they're setting up these products. All right, 11 out of 49, Patrick Peterson. Reveals a Patrick Mahomes, nice. 23 out of 50, limitless three color patch, my homies. That goes to Jesse and the Chiefs, nice. All right, and the book behind Kenny Stills is Sam Darnold. Wow, 47 out of 55, draft day signature. Woo, two-color patch and autograph. There he is. Now you can see right here, Josie, this enclosed jersey presented to Darnold on stage. So that's from draft night. Sean Cole with that one. Nice one. Shot of a mixer, too. 47 out of 55. Nice. I think the future of jerseys, you know, over the over the upcoming years, we're gonna start to see more more specifics on when the jersey was was pulled. When it what where what event it may have been from or what game it's from. I think you'll start to see more of that as the years go on. They're starting to do it more, too. All right. 2018 Leaf Ultimate Draft Football. All right, we're going to start off with Hayden Hurst. Got to write. They're in their college uniform, so they'll go to the teams they're currently on. That's for Baltimore. That's for John Parsons. Tight end for the Ravens. Next one is Riley Ferguson, who I'm not sure what team he was associated with. He was undrafted, I think. I think the, the last team he was associated with in his pro career was the Buccaneers. So that'll go to the Bucks. These are college rules. If there's no checklist that specifies the team. There you go. Buccaneers, that'll be for Sean Cole. Next up is Rashawn Evans. I forget where Rashawn Evans ended up. See it? Oh, a Titan. He's a Titan. That goes to Tennessee. It's also for Sean Cole. Uh, it was limited football, Darnold, draft day signatures. It's a nice book. It's pretty cool. All right, and the last, oh, no, there's two more here. Oh, we've got a printing plate here. All right, we've got Derwin James. Nice. That goes to the Chargers. Now I know it says uh, it expires on the eight on uh, thir thirty first. If you guys remember, when back when this was released, they uh, Leaf me Leaf stated that oh that was a typo. I don't think it expires until like twenty twenty or something like that. So you can still you should be able to redeem it without a problem. Chargers that goes to Rusty Last Spot Mojo, and 
Wow. That's another Sam Darnold for Sean Cole, this time on a printing plate in his USC gear. Woo. Sean with the Jets all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's nice. All right, now let's get into this stuff here. Um, no, Rick. If you look at the website, it says Thursday or Friday. That's when we'll be getting we'll be getting the case. Today is Wednesday. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's play America's favorite game. I can I can look up this guy. All right. I know reading's hard, Rick. Okay, I stand six foot, two hundred and five pounds. Born in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fifty three years old right now. Is drafted in the first round. Tenth overall. Um, I play for four different teams. I'm a Super Bowl champion, 11-time Pro Bowler, six-time first-team All-Pro, second-time, second two-time second-team All-Pro, an NFL Defensive Player of the Year in the early 90s, a two-time NFL Interceptions Leader, AFC Player of the Year in the early 90s, part of the NFL 75th Anniversary All-Time Team, Part of the NFL 1990s All-Decade Team. Two-time first-team All-American. Three-time first-team All-Big Ten. If you know your conferences, I don't, I'm not very good with my college football conferences. College conferences. Uh, a USA Today High School All-American in the early 80s. I have 1,049 tackles, 71 interceptions, 17 touchdowns. Part of the College Football Hall of Fame. Part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Who am I? I was drafted in 1980s. No one has any guesses. I was drafted in 1987. First round. Pick 10. If you want to Google it, I guess you can do that. But that's no fun. Try to guess it. Uh, I ended the career with my Raiders. Before that, I played with the Ravens. Before that, I played with the Niners. But I spent a bulk of my career with this team. I coached a little bit. Cornerbacks coach. For the Raiders, and then the assistant defensive backs coach, and then a cornerbacks coach again in 2017. Uh, I think Ray's got it. Taylor's got it. He is a Steeler. So this goes to Jesse T. It's Rod Woodson. Nice. There's his silver ink autograph right there. There's a leaf card right there. Excellent. Good stuff. Yeah, he was a Raider for a little bit. Rod, Rod, Rod Woodson, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so let's slide this here. So that will go to... Jesse T. Who got randomized the Steelers in break one. Here on the 6th of February. Nice. Now TriStar makes the Who Am I game a little bit easier because they have little informative cards inside that'll let us know who these players are. Should we do the other helmet? Stay with the helmet theme? All right. Now once again, just like that Leaf Ultimate Draft, if they're in their college, if this is a college helmet and they're active, it'll go to the team they're currently on. If they are inactive, Retired. It'll go to the team they played for the longest. All right. Who am I? Let's play the America's favorite game. Who am I? I'm a nine-time first-team All-Pro. A nine-time Pro Bowl selectee. A Super Bowl champion, and I was co-MVP of the Super Bowl. 
part of the 1980s All-Decade team, played college football at Maryland, two-time All-American, 1974 Lombardi Award winner, part of this team's Ring of Honor, in the College Football Hall of Fame, in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, got in in the mid-90s. Sorry, Seal Curtain. Seal Curtain's bummed about that Rod Woodson. I'm sure Jesse will give you a good price for it. Right, Jess? Maybe. Who am I? Any guesses on this one? I think you got the right team. You got the right team, TJ. Not Dorset, though. I mean, I don't have any position information on here. All right, I'm 66 years old right now. Played for this team my entire life, my entire career. 1975, drafted in 1975, round one, pick two. Uh, defensive tackle linebacker, 111 sacks, one interception. Wow, it's pretty good. It is Randy White. Randy White. And that is for the boys. Sean Cole with the Cowboys. There he is. So there's Randy's autograph with the Hall of Fame inscription. Got the big blue star right there. You have the authentication sticker and all that fun stuff. And you got the TriStar authentication. A little tag down there too. Excellent. All right. Congrats, Sean. Thank you for getting in. TJ says, if I said he was a skull spokesman, you would have nailed it? He he was a skull spokesman? I didn't realize that. All right, the jersey. And one more chance at playing America's favorite game, Who Am I? Or just my favorite game. Where's the card? There it is. Wow. This is a good one. Who am I? What? I, I feel like TriStar should have given me a lot more information on this. No, not, not that guy. I need the football player. All right. Who am I? Super Bowl champion, 19, well, no, I won't say the year. Consensus first team All-American. Here's a good one. I own the largest Super Bowl ring size in history, size 25. And brother of a 1989 defensive player of the year. Uh, I was born in Aiken, South Carolina. This is how I'm shifting to wiki now. I'm 6'3", 350. Went to Clemson. There you go, TJ. TJ's got it. Drafted in 1985, first round, pick 22. Played for the London Monarchs in 1996. Played for the Eagles for a couple seasons. Played with the Bears from 1985 to 1993. I'm in the WWE Hall of Fame. I'm a Super Bowl champion. I'm a consensus All-American. I had 29 and a half sacks. Over 138 games. Three offensive TDs. There you go. Nice William Perry autograph. I don't know. That's what Wikipedia says, Steel Curtain. I feel, like, I feel like he looked bigger than that, too. There you have it. Chicago Bears. Michael Koontz with the Bears. And there you have it, folks. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That was our seven-box memorabilia football mixer, random team number one. I think we've got another pick-your-team mixer in the store, among other things like limited football, et cetera, et cetera. So check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.